Greetings, salutations. My name is Drapa. Welcome back to another high, exciting let's play of Seven Days to Die. I am about to make stuff. You know, such such high quality uh, commentary on my end, right? But Okay. This is coal, right? Yeah, I could I could burn this in the campfire, can't I? I don't think there's any zombies nearby. But I'm not about to try that theory out either. Um I'm just gonna craft. That's all I'm gonna do. Just make stuff, you know? Just keeping things. That sounded like a toilet being flushed. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna. Yeah. Let's see here. Arrows, right? Yeah. But I have like these arrows here. Steel. Steel arrows. How do I make that? Uh, arrow, arrow. Yes, there it is. <laughs> you see, I knew I'd find it eventually. Okay. Now. I don't, I don't think I have enough inventory space for that many axes. Let's... Stone axe. There we go. Let's make... 25. Here we go. Some creepy ass music happening outside the my house. Not gonna go investigate. If uh, horror movies have ever taught me anything, you don't investigate the mysterious, scary sound happening outside where you're sleeping. You uh, instead stay put and not do that because that's how you die. <laughs> you die when you investigate those things. Um. 51. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What do they call that? Uh, it's like a Tibet uh, singer. Is that what they're called? I don't... I don't know what they're called, but it's like that. those guys that make those, um, like the... That sound, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> you know, those ones. <laughs> this is what I do. I do this at night all the time. I just, as soon as the night happens. What does that mean? What does that, what does that sound mean? Um, but yeah, as soon as the nightfall happens, I'm just in here making, making my axes. Minding my own business, staying away from the spooky, scary zombies, you know? So I want my axes to be at least level 100? 100? And then I'll start working on, uh my other tools. Yes! My smithing is now level 5. That's what I'm talking about.
to be honest, uh, I'm not quite used to people walking in on me as I'm filming. So when that happens, like, everything about me just freezes. I'm hoping that, like, I'll get over that eventually. To where it won't be so awkward if outside noises or if somebody, like, approaches me. <laughs> to where I, I would not seize up and panic and freak out. Because that's, that's honestly really annoying. Not the fact that that happens to me, but the fact that I freak out and I seize up, that's annoying. Because as I'm editing it, I always just like, uh, I could have handled that better. You know? But it's something I'm working on. It's a, it's a thing about me that I'm trying to better. So as hopefully... Like, that should be the next thing. Like, I used to be super nervous about filming in public. I sort of still am, but not as to what I used to be. When I Back then, when I filmed, it was like, I was nerve-wreck. But now I kind of, I'm a little better at it. I can do it now. Um, but I, I worked on that, and I got better at it. And now it just seems like whenever outside noises or someone walks in, that should be my next thing I should work on, is getting used to that. Because, in my opinion, life around you is just going to happen regardless. Regardless if you're filming or streaming or whatever. You know, other people outside of what you're doing is going to happen regardless. And I need to get used to that. So... I'm going to apologize for the actions I've done in the past videos, and now you know. Now you know I'm going to be working on that about myself to get better at it. Not because anyone's told me to, but more of like a personal preference. Because when I edit, I notice it and I kind of like cringe at my own actions. So. Also, am I monologuing because this is boring? Yes! That's exactly what I'm doing, because this is boring. Not for me so much, but for all of you. I'm doing it for you. Remember the last video where I said I do this for you? I do it for you. <laughs> this quality content that you can't get anywhere else. Come on. Where would you get this? Notice how you didn't say anyone else? You probably did. <laughs> you probably had a whole list ready. But, okay, the axe is done. I'm going to keep that one, the 108. Let's get rid of these ones. Had noise, wow. Top tier. Top tier. 10 out of 10. Okay. Wooden club. You know what? No. Let's do the bow next. There it is. Wooden bow. Let's put that to 25. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. 60? Ugh. Weak. You know what? Let me, let me do that real quick. I have stuff that I can level up now. Somewhere... Ah, ah, ah. Found it. Okay, how many points do I have? Uh, 15! 15 available points. Alright. Let's do... I think the camel helps with water. Slows your thirst so you don't have to drink as much. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's the, uh... My timer going off because it's the end of the episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see all of you next time.